Hi, this video is about an introduction to dimensions and units. And we're going to start off with the definition of dimension and units first. So dimensions or basic dimensions are basic concepts of physical measurement. Example of dimensions are length that can be represented by capital letter L in square brackets to show that the qualitative nature of the dimension is of interest instead of the quantitative nature. Time by capital letter T, mass by capital letter M, temperature, Greek letter theta. These dimensions shown here are basic dimensions. And you will see later that there are two categories of dimensions. One is basic and the other is derived. The definition of units is terms that precede and describe the dimensions. So if we have the dimension and unit combo of 25 centimeters, you can see that the unit centimeter precedes or follow the dimension length or the number 25. And centimeter describes the dimension or length of 25. So we won't be confused whether it's 25 feet or 25 kilometers or 25 meters. Dimensions can be classified into two categories. The first is the fundamental or basic dimension and the second is the derived dimension. So the definition of fundamental or basic dimension is dimensions that are measured independently and enough to express essential physical quantities. So just like shown before, uh, basic dimensions include length, mass, time, and temperature because these quantities must be measured independently of one another. They are not influenced by each other. As for the derived dimensions, um, it's a combination of or the products or quotients of fundamental dimensions. So to explain more about that derived dimension, it's best if I use an example of uh, one simple example, let's say velocity. We all know that velocity is distance over time. So it is a quotient of distance over time or length over time. It is a combination of the basic dimension L and T. Another example is uh, related to velocity is acceleration. It is also a derived dimension. Acceleration is the difference in velocity over time. So just looking at the qualitative nature of the dimension L, instead of um, uh, looking at the difference of the two velocities, let's just take it as one velocity because we're just interested in the dimension and not the actual quantity. Okay. So V is length over time and this needs to be divided by time and thus if we simplify this it becomes l over t squared which is another combination of fundamental or basic dimension which makes it a derived dimension So what are the common symbols used to represent uh, quantities? And we're going to use the example shown before, mass, length, time, and temperature. So I was seen in the previous slide, um, we denote mass as capital letter M, L as capital letter L, and so on. But there are other symbols that can be used to uh, represent these quantities. So for mass, we can represent it by uh, with the small letter M too. For length, there's a, a few ways to um, represent it. Instead of just capital letter L, there's also the small letter L for length, D for distance, H, height, X, Y, Z, and so on. For time, there's the small letter T, and sometimes the Greek letter tau. For temperature, capital letter T, and even sometimes small letter T. So here you can see a, uh, some confusion that can arise if an equation uses uh, time and temperature. So if we use time, uh, we use small letter T to represent time, and we should not use small letter T to represent temperature in the same equation. Going back to units, there are two systems of units, the most popular systems of units used in the world. The first is the SI system, or the System International Unit, 
and the other is the American Engineering Unit. For the SI, it is a simple system because uh, compared to the A system because we have fewer names for the dimensions. Uh, one example of it is this. Uh, in SI, we can name distance or length just by the unit meter. I know there's a few more like centimeters, kilometers, and so on, but basically they come from the base unit meter where the C and K, the C and K are prefixes to the unit. Compared to AE, there's a few ways, a few units that uh, represent or that describes length. There's the inch, feet, yards, and some more. And these are not related to one another by prefixes. For example, we know one foot is 12 inches. The SI system is also the current metric system. The metric system is defined as a decimalized unit of measurement system. And uh, just like dimensions mentioned before, it consists of both base and derived unit. The metric system is almost or synonymous with uh, the SI system. It is decimalized because, um, just like its name, it uses decimals in its system of units. For example, one meter is 100 cm. We don't see the decimals here, but then we know that 1 cm is 0 0.01 meter. It's related to each other by decimals compared to 1 feet is 12 inches, which doesn't use the decimal line system as the SI. And the SI system also uses prefixes. For example, the centi, or small letter C, the mega, capital letter M. This is, this is not the dimension, this is a prefix for the unit. Uh, small letter N for nano and small letter M for milli. And if you notice, these uh, prefixes are factors of 10 of each other. I've drawn a sample table of some prefixes commonly used. So on the left hand side of this table is the prefix and the right hand side is the factors. So to use this, if it's 1 cm, it is equals to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meters. And if it's um, 1 decimeter, then it is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 1 meters. The AE system is a system that's deeply rooted in the United States of America. What it means is that it is it has been used extensive, extensively in many papers, documents, uh, projects, and so on in the United States. And uh, since it is so prevalent or so widespread in their documents, it is still a system commonly used in their country. Other names of these systems, instead of American Engineering System or AE Systems, are English System, the U.S. customary system or the imperial system. Uh, basically, they are one of the same. Just to get an idea on how common is the SI system or the current metric system used uh, nowadays is uh, from a picture of a figure of the world that shows countries that use SI system and countries that do not use SI or the AE or use the AE or U.S. or customary and imperial systems. So the ones highlighted red are countries is, is what I'm saying, are countries that still use the English system or the AE system. So this is Myanmar over here, this is Liberia in Africa, and of course the US of A. Three countries that do not use, that still do not use the SI, at least officially. Here is a table showing some common SI dimensions and units. On the left hand side here, we can see the physical quantities or the dimension, the name of the unit, the symbol of the unit, and some definition of the unit. So let's look at length first. For the physical quantity length, the name of the unit is meter. And uh, you see two different types of spelling. One is the M-E-T-R-E, T-R-E -E, uh, spelling, which is the British spelling for meter. And uh, for the American spelling, it's just the M-E-T-E-R. And the symbol for this unit is small letter M. This is the symbol for the unit and not the dimension. For mass, it's the kilogram. You see the two different types of spelling. The first is the British spelling, while the second is the American spelling. And the symbol 
for this unit is kg. Time is second, s, small letter s. Temperature is Kelvin, capital letter K. Molar amount is mole, M-O-L-E, and the symbol for it is M-O-L without the E. For the derived SI units, we have the energy, and the name of the unit for energy is Joule. Yeah, there are many different types of energy. There is the uh, heat energy, electrical energy, potential, and kinetic energy, and they all use the same unit, Joule. And the name of the symbol for this unit is capital letter J. The simplified or the expanded version of J is shown on the right hand side here. This shows that energy is a derived dimension that is made up of um, basic dimensions of mass. How do I how do I know this? It's from this kilogram, meter or length, and also time. For force is the name of the unit is Newton, and the symbol for it is capital letter N. Power is watt or capital letter W. Density is kilogram per cubic meter. There's no special name for density. Velocity is meter per second. Acceleration is meter per second squared. Pressure is Newton per square meter Pascal. So let me just, um, and there is a special name for it, which is Pascal. They forgot to put it here. PA, capital letter PA. Heat capacity is joule per kilogram per Kelvin. And uh, there's, there are also the alternative units. Um, for example, time. In SI, we, we do use, we, we use second, but then there's also different units of time. For example, there's the minute, the hour, the day, and the year. And the symbols for uh, these units are, for minute is M-I-N, for hour is H, without the R. For day is just D, and for year is Y. Temperature, another common unit, alternative unit instead of the SI unit is the degree Celsius. It's definitely more common than Kelvin. And the symbol for it is degree C. Volume is the liter. L-I-T-R-E is the British spelling, while L-I-T-E-R is the American spelling. What's interesting here is that uh, beside liter, there's a decimeter cube. It shows that one liter is the same as one decimeter although we don't see much of this meter cube uh, compared to liter. And for mass, instead of the kilogram, we have the ton. T-O-N-N-E is the British spelling, where, while T-O-N is the American spelling. And the gram. This um, table shows common American engineering dimensions and units. So uh, let's start off with length. The unit for length in AE is the foot and the symbol is Fe. If it's one foot, then we pronounce it as foot, and if it's more than one, it's uh, pronounced as feet. So it's one foot, or two feet, three feet, four feet, and so on. For mass, it's the pound mass, LB subscript M. It's very important to include the letter, the subscript M here to show that it's different from a different type of pound that you'll see later. Time is, the, is either the second minute, hour, or day. It's the same as the SI for S for second and minute. But it's slightly different for hours. Sometimes we see HR instead of just H for hour. And DAY, the full, the full spelling for day instead of just D in SI. Temperature, they use the degree Rankine or the degree Fahrenheit. It's more common to see degree Fahrenheit instead of degree Rankine. For the molar amount, there's uh, they use the pound mole. Um, the SI system uses the gram mole. And the unit for pound mole is pound mole, L, B, M, O, L. The, as for the derived units in AE, for force, they use the pound force. So here we see the pound again, but this is different from the pound that we saw before. The pound that the pound mass is for mass, while the pound force is for force. So they use the same unit for it, except for one is for mass and one is for force. So that's why it's very important to include the subscripts here to show which one of the force that we are referring to, because people have confused the, the, the usage of these two pounds before. For energy, they use the British thermal unit or the BTU, and um, and aside from this, they also use the foot pound force, FT pound force, FT, FT LB subscript F. For power, they use the horsepower or HP. Density, it's the pound mass per cubic foot. Velocity is feet per second. Acceleration is feet per second squared. Pressure is pound force per square inch. Pound force per square inch, or they they instead of writing pound lb subscript f over i n squared, they just write it as psi per square inch, pound per square inch. And heat capacity is the BTU per pound mass per degree Fahrenheit. Here are some important information concerning units. The first one. 
uppercase and lowercase letters should be strictly followed. For example, Kelvin, capital letter K. We don't write 100 or 200 Kelvin with a small letter K, we write it with a capital letter K. Same goes for Pasco. We don't write small PA, we write capital letter PA for Pasco. 1000 or liter. Refrain from using two small letter L. Use write two capital letter L to show that the L is for liter. The second one, unit abbreviations have the same form for both singular and plural and not followed by a period, except for inches. So only inches uses a period to show that it's an abbreviation of inches. Other units do not have singular or plural forms. One example is meter. If you want to write one meter, it's a singular form of it. But if you want to write two meter, just write it as 2m and not 2ms. There is no plural form of the abbreviated unit. It is just 2m or 2 meters. But if you do write it in a sentence, for example, using this example, 2 meters, then we can still include the plural form of meters in the sentence. But if it's an abbreviated form, then we do not put the S in the units. Uh, so uh, common, what I usually see in uh, some of the writings or the works of other people is this mistake of writing as centimeters, 2 centimeters. There's no such thing. There's just 2 cm. Or sometimes 10 grams. Or even 10 GMS. No, we do not write it like this, we just write it as Third point. Multiplication of two or more units will combine those two or more units together separated by a period. So if you want to combine two units and we want to separate it from each other to show that they are not the same, they are not uh, the same unit, we differentiate them with the symbol period. This shows that it's a multiplication of a distance and time. A distance of some meters multiplied with time of some second. For hyphen, uh, for the fourth point, hyphen should not be used in combination of units. We, we use the dot instead of the hyphen. The dot in multiplication of numbers should be avoided, such as 2.5. It's not 2.5, 2 multiplied by 5. I know some uh, text uses this to show that it's a multiplication of 2 times, it's a multiplication of 2 and 5, but avoid using this. Just write it in full, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. The last point, commas in numbers, for example, 100,000 should also be avoided. So we, sh we should not write commas in these numbers, at least for this course, just to avoid confusion when reading large numbers. So that is it for this video and I will see you in the next video.